So in this demo, we are going to uh, quickly explore the developer experience in OpenShift. We start uh, by creating a new project. Project is very similar to Kubernetes namespace, where you have set of resources, and uh, also you have the role-based access control. So let's quickly add a resource scooter. So we will just limit the number of bots uh, that can be created on this uh, project. So we give the resource scooter object a name, and then we remove all the other options, and let's limit the number of bots to 10. And also we uh, will add a limit range to limit the uh, resources allocated per certain objects. So in this case, we have a uh, default memory uh, request and the uh, limit for uh, each uh, container running within the project. Good. So this is the uh, just project dashboard that quickly shows the number of objects inventory for the uh, objects running on the project and also quick metrics about CPU memory utilization and the uh, different workloads uh, currently running. Since the project is empty, so there is nothing running here. Uh, so uh, let's quickly uh, switch to the uh, CLI OC. So status. So we are currently uh, logged in to the uh, OpenShift cluster and we are using the default project. So this is a current user admin, and then uh, let's switch to the uh, demo project. So the current project now is demo. So uh, in this project, we will quickly uh, use the uh, S2I engine, the source to image, uh, and building a container image uh, directly from uh, source code. So let's move to the uh, developer console, and we just run the command OC new app and we pass the uh, URL of the uh, repository where we have some PHP files and we give uh, the application a name which is a dash version. So right now uh, as you can see uh, OpenShift detected the uh, BHP and accordingly used the base image which is the uh, Apache 2.4 with uh, PHP 7.3 and uh, again added the uh, proper tags and then all the uh, objects are created in the project including the image stream, the build configuration, deployment, the service object and uh, there will be uh, a build running right now so if we just uh, request the status of the current project uh, we can see that uh, we are currently in the uh, demo project right and we have the uh, service object created and the IP address assigned to the service object let's say to port 8080 we have the deployment object the build configuration and there is a build number one running right now and also there is a deployment is running so we have the container image created just by uh, uh, running this command or see new app and also uh, we can create the route or the ingress controller by just exporting the uh, service object so the route is created and you can see now the uh, end user url once we click on the uh, url we get the uh, response so this is the uh, just uh, one way of uh, creating container images directly from the uh, source uh, code by using the cli or cnew app uh, command and you can see now all the objects are uh, created uh, another way is to use the web console right uh, so we go to the uh, service catalog and we select from the service catalog the uh, runtime which is the uh, BHP in our case okay and through the uh, wizard we just let's go to another repository version so we also have set of bhp one bhp file and one uh, image file so here we provide the uh, get repository url validated so it's a valid so we also provide the name for the application 
and uh, we choose either we use the uh, OpenShift deployment configuration or the Kubernetes deployment object and also we can uh, auto uh, create the route so create this will exactly trigger the same uh, actions triggered by the uh, OC new app so we have the application created and uh, there is a build going on right building from source code if we look at the build logs we can see that uh, first of all cloning the source code from the uh, git repository and then building the uh, container uh, image once container uh, image is created it will be uh, pushed to the internal registry We can go back to the uh, container registry and look at the image stream created. So we have two image streams. One is the A version, second is the B version. So let's go back to the uh, developer console. And now we have the uh, B version created and the route is also uh, created because we uh, choose this option in the uh, application log. So uh, there is also uh, just a way of organizing the uh, bots here in the view by creating an application. Just drag and drop, right, using the shift. So it means we're grouping those two uh, bots into one application group. Okay. So uh, we can also look at the uh, routes. So we have two routes right now, A and B. We will just delete the uh, existing routes for sake of, of uh, uh, creating a new route. This route, the new route, will be creating uh, to, uh, again, low balance the uh, traffic between the two bots, A version and B version. So right now, we don't have any routes created. So let's quickly uh, expose the A version surface right using a new route called ab so we have a route created now okay and then what we will do we will add one more backend which is a b dash version and we will split the traffic 50 50 so right now we have one route this route and this route, you'll see in the route configuration. Is uh, again splitting the traffic between two different services, A version, B version, and the percentage is 50%. Uh, so if we click on this route, so the first request will go to uh, a version it's open private session I still go going to a okay let's let's open a new browser safari maybe okay and just use the url hit yes so so one time so with the same url one time you go to version a the uh, second time we go to version uh, B, uh, simple uh, round drop. 